and today's episode we are going to discuss workout outfit we are going to talk about exercising to lose weight or why losing weight you're exercising because exercising is not the only way to lose weight and we are going to talk about weight loss surgery and we are also going to discuss loose skin and how it could affect you after you have a surgery you have all this skin to deal with or if you lose weight like how i lost weight not being able to exercise to help tone while i'm losing the weight how much even after all that work that you put in to lose that weight how much seeing that loose skin would affect you in your weight loss journey process so let's get into all of these videos about what happens to your skin as you're seeing on your screen right now what happens to you as a person when you're dealing with weight loss and you have all this loose skin and the best clothes that i have found would make you really comfortable if you're dealing with loose skin to work out in especially if you're not working out at home but working out in a public setting so let's get into today's video unless we're going to talk about workout clothes so when you're dealing with excess skin like i am for example i am sitting here i have a lot of excess skin you'll actually see that protruding out of my clothing here and all of that so i have to find clothes that would hide all of this perfectly so i would feel comfortable if i am going out in a public setting to do some sort of exercise and what I have found that works for me would be more cotton based material and the leggings must have something like patterns on it but mostly I would like a legging with zigzag patterns nothing too extra nothing too bold but just zigzag patterns on it it will take away from the lumps that you're seeing on your skin I have learned that the hard way by keep purchasing leggings that would just have my skin looking really bumpy and horrible even though i know there is a reason for it but still i would be uncomfortable leaving the house looking like that i don't like to see people doing it so why would i want to put myself in that situation so i would use also the tops i would basically use would be more of a hoodie so like today i work out at home so you saw what i had on with the with this top and uh, a, sh a tights, a short tight, so I will do my um, crunches and my planks with something like this because I'm home, there's nobody to see me. But I choose to leave this on to do this video because it is important that I get my message across as to why it is I would work out in certain clothes and how important it is to work on your skin while you're losing weight and it says do your exercise even if you're not in a gym but there are things that you could do home as i said previously um i um cannot i wasn't able to exercise at home because i was in hospital for six months on bed rest not being well and when i came out of hospital i had to learn to walk and i have lo i lost most of my weight 
in that six months period. I went in and around the August vacation, one year I came out almost. It was after my birthday because I spent Christmas, New Year's, everything inside of there. So my birthday is in February. It was almost May. I think I made it home for my daughter's birthday. I can't even remember. I have a lot of memory loss as well. But uh, my daughter was a tiny tot. All this happened the day, even the day of 9-11, I was in hospital. When that whole disaster, when the first plane hit, I was actually being taken care of because I had tubes every single part of my body. And at that time, my husband was, he used to leave home, which is a two hour drive every day to come clean me because I didn't want no thirst taking care of me. I didn't want nobody doing it, him. He would leave home two hours every day, come to the hospital, take care of me. And he would spend most of the day there and then go back home. And that is how it was for all those months because I just wasn't comfortable with nobody else. And while in the process of him giving me my bath that morning, I couldn't hear nothing but screams and the, the, I was so close to where the nurse's station was so that they could keep eye on me that I heard everything. And then when we pulled the curtain, we saw what was going on that day, 9-11. What a sad day. So yes, um, so that is how I wasn't able to lose the weight properly and tone up while losing it because I was in hospital on bed. And when I was sent home, I had to learn to walk and that but I, I was determined to learn to walk he made a walker for me and i learned to walk with a walker i couldn't bend my knees for years i couldn't bend my knees because if i bend i will fall because it was still shaky but over time and i started exercising and that's how i got to love exercising because it made me walk we bought a bicycle and I was doing that home but the bicycle now started to give me back problems so I just started to go and exercise do a lot of walking do some aerobics I talked to the aerobics instructor I let her know what is wrong with me and she would not make me push it and today I still cannot overrun because if I overdo it my legs will start to shake and then my knees will pop I can't even do squats because if I do squats my knees will start to pop so as I said, I just cannot do no matter how much straps I put on. It just won't work. It, it just don't work, sorry. So that is how, excuse me, that's how I would dress. Long sleeves because I want to cover this. I prefer a hoodie. So if I'm wearing something like this to go and run in the morning, I would wear this plus a hoodie and that type of leggings that I mentioned. All right. So and the next topic would be, uh, surgery um i wanted to do surgery i really wanted to do surgery but where i'm living surgery for me to get surgery i would have to leave the country and so i have to pay for that plus pay for someone to stay plus the surgery so it would be too very costly for me to do something like that so i just never really take it as an option i just keep doing research 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 i realize now there is one doctor who is doing it in this country but i'm not hearing too much of positive reports so i'm not too hurried to go to make an appointment because of the persons that came back to me and tell me what their experience was like so i'm not going to take the chances so but what i would really like to fix is my legs you see on your screen now, you see my legs? Terrible. That got the hardest hit in this weight loss. My stomach just has stretch marks and uh, a slight sab. So I was carrying most of my weight in my legs and my hips because I've always had plenty hips. So that's why I'm creating. I was creating my hips and my legs. And after that weight loss, without exercise, that is where I got the most hit from all of this exercise. And if I am to do surgery again, I think I would do more research and leave the country. And so I'd have to save to do that. I would like to do it, but right now, in this time of living, 
is that a priority? So I would keep wearing clothing that would help me feel comfortable by masking those lumps, like I said. So if I'm wearing, and if I'm wearing a, a spandex material, it must be really, really tight, a few sizes smaller than I am. So it will hug everything tightly and I will get a good fit with a spandex. That's how I could get a good fit with spandex. Other than that, if I wear spandex, spandex you would think is the most <sighs> terribly paved road. That is what you would think of my legs if I wear spandex, a normal size spandex. So I wouldn't even put myself to that humiliation. Uh, I don't walk the road in any kind of clothes like that, really, unless I go and do some kind of exercise. So that wouldn't be. Um, so loose skin, it could be really, really, really depressing. Depressing in the sense. Um, It could be really, really depressing because you don't feel comfortable. You put in all this work to lose all this weight, right? And when you don't do all of this, you still have to deal with all this heaviness, this skin that weighing down your legs. Because you didn't lose this weight to still look at yourself in the mirror and be like, oh, gosh, I'm so ugly. Why did I even bother to do this? So... That has been my problem constantly, especially with certain, like if I want to wear a nice dress, I have to be so mindful, my stomach, my legs, certain material in dresses. If I put on a real tight dress, I will see the lumps in the back of my legs. So dresses and also most of the time is a real long pants I would wear. And the material in the pants, I always have to put mine into what the material is because the lumps will show. So losing weight, and not exercises, neck exercising has its advantages and disadvantages because you're losing the weight, you're feeling proud of yourself, but then boom, you're faced with all this, all, all, all this thing shaking all over the place. And you have to be very careful when you're t taking your bath and drying your skin because you don't want any sort of sores, you don't want these things to happen. And that was one of the reasons why weight loss surgery was never even taught because of that because you're left with so much of skin but then i lost weight not because i wanted to lose weight at the time i lost weight because i wasn't well and not being able to move from my bed in over six months i lost the ability to walk i had to learn to forgive my dogs they just like to play while all four of them they barely fall so they decide to make noise so ladies and gentlemen if you are thinking about losing weight be mindful when you're trying to lose weight you need to exercise as little as possible try and do some exercise because trust me you do not want to end up with arms like this with stomach like like mine, sagging stomach, and with legs like this. You just don't want that because it, it sets you back. I am not even going to pretend. Sometimes it sets me back. I have to be like, Ugh, what was the point in doing this? Because look what you're faced with right now. If I don't watch dog at my legs, I feel good. But then when you do watch your legs, you're like, really? Really? So... Please incorporate some sort of exercise in your plan when you're losing weight. And as I always say, diet is no good, but the lifestyle change is good. You cut down on your portion sizes, you cut down on the type of grease that you're using, and the hours that you're eating. I would strongly suggest, I love intermittent fasting. It works, and it really, 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 really worked for me and keeps me more organized eating wise so you don't tend to overeat i have found this found that you know how i do it i have found my method works for me i am not suggesting my method to anybody i'm just telling you what works for me and uh, it helped because after a while while trying to lose the weight i have tried all kind of different things i try 
uh, Shaw Wei. I have tried, there are so many programs that I have tried. That was a weight loss program, injections, I was doing the injections and all of that. And it just wasn't, I'm so expensive. Every shot is like $500. Just to start the program, you pay $3,000. And then every month you go back for an injection. I was like, every month you have to be paying that money for that injection. So I went myself all for that program. And then I started taking some uh, unnatural weight loss tablets. I would insert that picture right here. This was really, really good. But again, this is very, very costly. I don't even think it's still on the market as much years ago I took this. It is really good. This thing works for me. Don't make you feel sick. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's all natural. It works. I am not even going to pretend. But then when I win myself over that because I can't keep taking this spring spin and the distance that I have to leave to go to get this product is like an hour and a half because it does sell it within my community. So every month I would have to go and get this. And so after I try all of this thing, I started by exercising in full and I came across intermittent fasting on YouTube and I tried it. And for the first month, I really didn't realize like ugh, this thing any making any difference. But I stuck with it and I stuck with it and I started to feel different. And then I decided a day to just go to um, the drugstore. And I went to the drugstore and I purchased this, um, purchased, sorry, and I went and weighed myself. The last time I weighed, I was 168, right? So I was like, let me check and see how much weight I have. And when I went on that scale and I saw 145, ladies and gentlemen, I was so shocked. I was like, whoa, I did it. Where? I am not feeling it. Because I wasn't taking it on too much. I was just doing the intermittent fasting and it was working. So now my thing now is to work on my legs, my arms, and my stomach. I will do planks. I like to do planks. I can't go and exercise anymore because they locked down everything. The beaches, everything is locked down because we're back on lockdown because of the rise. All of a sudden, a big rise in COVID in this country. So we are locked down, so we can't. And now they just passed the law this last week that you cannot leave the house or be in public without a mask or else you pay a fine or you go to jail. I'm not about to go to jail, no pay, no money. So... Can I stay at home or making sure she has her mask on? She, I mean, it's all about protecting your citizens. And I hope people do what they're supposed to do to be safe and healthy. This disease is not no joke. So practice proper hygiene and just follow simple guidelines. Just simple to help curb the spread of this disease. That's all we need to do. Just follow simple instructions. It ain't killing you to just wear a mask or just don't go nowhere you want to get something out of the road call them order it and bring it home to you simple simon but anyway we're straying from the topic so that was just what i wanted to share with you today where i'm at with my skin the clothes that i would use to cover up my insecurities because of my sagging skin and what outfit i like to really work out in is as you saw in the thumbnail those types of this is the top and the same pants i'm having doing the video right now that is the type of clothing that i like to work out in because it's it, it's fitted hugging me right it's not loose and not baggy and not having me uncomfortable so i am not restricted from doing any exercise you know that's the type of clothes that i like to work out in home but if i am not home i would use a legging I would use a hoodie, my hat and my music, and that's how I exercise. So, hope I was helpful to somebody who is dealing with the same type of issues with skin and how to cover it up, how to, what to wear, and don't hate yourself, respect the journey that you have been on to get where you are. We all have our days, like myself, have our days where we look at ourselves and we don't like what we're seeing. 
but keep doing what you're supposed to be doing and you will get there. I was told when I was trying to get a consultation with well, a doctor, they said that uh, there is no elasticity in your skin anymore. So no matter what exercise you do, you would, you would not bring back that skin. So you have to either remove it or just stick with it because all the elasticity there is gone. So you have two options. And those were my options. To remove your skin, keep, you could keep exercising. So when you fix that issue, if that is your decision, you have some sort of muscle there. So the muscle will continue to develop under all of that. Don't worry, but that skin that you're seeing there will not soon now because every bit of elasticity in that skin is gone because of how big you were and now you have lost that weight. Makes total sense, totally understood. So I know my only option is surgery to remove the skin. So maybe if God have it in plan and it is to be done, it's to be done. I'm not pushing, forcing anything anymore on my body unless that is the plan and that's how God see it fit that I should, that is the journey I should take. He will provide and make a way and it will happen. If not, I thank God from where I was to where I am now, health-wise. I give God all the glory and then praise. Because I always used to look at myself and be like, will I ever lose this weight? Will I, will I, will I? I have. I mean, it didn't start off under the best circumstances, but I have maintained my weight. And I thank God I continue to maintain my weight. And it's, I'm at a place where I'm totally comfortable. So, don't give up. Don't give up. Reach out to somebody, talk to somebody, and you will understand you're not the only one dealing with this. Have hope. And keep exercising. Have a blessed day, and thanks for watching another episode of Chocolate Time. cha cha Bye.